the same. This is Mike from Hello.com. Hey, hey, <laughs> and you got five minutes, Mike. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let me know we're live. Okay, and whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm here with uh, Margot Robbie, plays Laura in the yes. show. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm doing good. Good. So just to start right off, how is acting in the U.S. different from Australia and, you know, your former show, like Neighbors? The production value in America is like nothing you would ever see in Australia. Everything is so much bigger. Even right down, I mean, the little things are what really gets, get me excited. When I first came onto set and saw that there was a chair for me with my name on it, I just lost my mind. I was like jumping up and down. I was like, is this normal? And everyone's like, yeah, you don't do that in Australia. I was like, no. In Australia, you, you know, you go find your own chair and just you like, something. yeah, you just <laughs> sit in the ground. And then, you know, like it's, it, it's really funny. And craft service is unbelievable. Like there's uh, a massive table of anything you could possibly want all the time. Like it's just like chocolate milk, peanut M&Ms, like fruit, I suppose. Is that right? a problem like, or I, are you okay it's with It's a massive that? problem. At first I was like, this is fantastic. <laughs> now I'm like, I wish there wasn't craft service because I have little to no self-control when it comes with, to my eating, so um, it's really hard to stay away from it, especially when you're working really long hours, because you know you can be good for the first 12 hours, but after that you're like, I don't care, I'll eat all the chocolate in the world, like I'll do anything to stay awake right now. So. I'm sure we can all relate to that. Yeah. So you're relatively young, so can you relate to Laura with you know her youthful exuberance that she, she portrays on the show? Yeah, I mean, I'm 21 in real life, and my character is 22, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's fun getting to be the, I, I'm glad I get to play someone close to my age and have that, like you said, the youthful exuberance. I, I can be excited by everything, not just because of the age aspect, but because she's new to the Pan Am team and new to the whole world she's in. So, which is good because I, I can barely contain my excitement sometimes when we're on certain That's sets awesome. or doing certain storylines. So I don't need to try and play it cool. I can, I can actually really have fun with that. That's amazing. Yeah. And Got to bring it up. Everybody wants to know, anything ever going to happen with Ted? Can you let us in on something? I mean, I, I know I know very little. I, I get the scripts a f sometimes a few days before we start shooting. So I'm pretty certain they're definitely, I mean, I know in the episode we're shooting right now, there's a lot more Ted-Laura chemistry, which is really fun to play around with. So they're definitely heading down that path, I think. Yeah. Where do you want that to go? Is it, do you want that to go somewhere? Did I mean, I like I like the stage it's at now, where where, you know, where we don't know, you know, there's guessing. like an attraction, but then like we have a fight, and but then you know something hilarious will happen. It, I like the stage it's at now, and I think if we can draw this out for as long as possible, it'd be great. It'd just be boring <laughs> I if like you know. That, honestly, that's great. Even if we just like skipped off into the sunset, it would be kind of boring, like, yeah. oh, we're a solid couple, yay. It's so much more fun <laughs> if there's a bit of controversy. Where do you want the relationship with, with her mother to go, or even with Kate, too, because I know it's always up and down, like she's protecting, that she's not, that she's letting her go, that she's not. Yeah, I, I love getting to play this sisterly rivalry with Kelly, because for some reason we kind of get along a lot like sisters. Like, we get along as friends as well, like, we get along really great, actually. But, um, yeah, we have this weird connection. We really do act like sisters sometimes. Um, so those storylines are always fun. I'm hoping that they um, that Laura gets caught up in the whole espionage, CIA nice. sort of thing. I mean, I can't imagine that not happening. It would just be such a great storyline. So I want to do the spy thing, to tell the truth. I, I want to do the Who spy storylines. I mean, yeah, exactly. Who doesn't? So I'm hoping that happens soon. Great. And just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll end it with this. What other kind of growth can we see from Laura? Because I know she's obviously growing huge with you know different different things that we've seen on the show recently what, what can we expect in the future I think there's so much more there's so much further we can go with Laura which is especially why I was so happy to have the character the really green character who was still trying to find her feet because that meant I had so many storylines to go from there like to, uh, another step growing and 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 all these things kind of shaping the person she is as opposed to having a character that already knows exactly who she is and she you know very you know it's so much more fun to play this I think so I, I think they can go anywhere with her I, th I think we haven't even scratched the surface yet perfect well thank you very much thank Appreciate you it. nice to meet you